Hey everybody, today the question is, do I have to grieve? Great question. And there's an easy answer. The answer is no, you don't have to grieve. I want to be really careful about that because I think sometimes in the spiritual end of things, there's this idea that suffering equals nobility. That somehow if I can punish myself enough, I'll be saintly or I'll be holy, uh, spiritual, I'll get to go to heaven, that kind of stuff. I get to use this wonderful thing that God has given me. If I can just clobber it a little bit, then God will like me, I guess is the math on that. And so, no, I think that it's really important for me to let you know that I am not interested in you going looking for trouble, spiritually speaking, emotionally speaking. No, you don't have to grieve. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to do that. There's nothing inherently noble about scars. They're just scars. Now, that being said, got all that out of the way. Don't go looking to beat yourself up. Got it? Got it. Here's the thing. I also want you to know that it is okay if you are grieving. Let's look at the other side of this. I want to make sure you understand that there's nothing wrong with going through that period of grief and loss and negative emotions in general. There's nothing wrong with that. You know me well enough to know that one of the things that's really important is that you feel your feelings. And that seems pretty obvious, but you got to know with me that there's a lot of places you can go in the spiritual end of things where they say, you know, life is consciousness and what you think about is what you feel in your life. And so if you're having a bad time, it must mean that you're not thinking right. There's something wrong with you. What's in your consciousness that you're doing that? I wrote about that on my blog a couple weeks ago. I'd love for you to go check out the blog on my website and all that. But the deal is, that that is such a weird victim blaming cheap shot. It is not the case that if you're hurting, it means there's something wrong with you. In fact, if you're hurting, it means there's something right because there's this part of you that has moved beyond something and you're feeling the, the growing pains, the loss of identity because I thought that whatever it was, that that thing that is now not here, I thought it could define me, and here I am, and what does that all mean? And that spills out into emotions, and there's something really, really healthy about feeling that. It's really okay to grieve, because you don't live in here. You live in here. When you are in love, you know you're in love. Where do you know that? You don't know it between your ears, you know it in your heart. When you know you're alive, when you know something's important, when you know that you're inspired, when you know that there's something beautiful, it's not an intellectual knowing, it's a heart knowing. Let's get good at exploring this wonderful organ of knowing. And that means feeling emotions, and that means sometimes the emotions that are negative. Yes, you don't have to grieve. But yes, it's okay if you grieve. Because at the end of the day, there's something really beautiful about knowing that I'm grieving because something's gone, but I'm still here. And if you go through that grief, you know, like I always say, the only way out is through, right? If you go through that grief, you'll come to the place where you realize that, you know what, there is a part of me that's truer than whatever that was that's gone. Honor that. There's something really beautiful, really noble, really holy about identifying with the part that survives the grieving. So no, you don't have to, but if you do, it's quite all right. And if you feel like you need to talk to somebody, get some help, you should do that. There's lots of resources right here on the internet. Go find them. Google is your friend. Come find me. I'll help you find what you need. Let's talk. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. So thanks for sending in the questions. Keep them coming. You can do that by going to my website, waypastok.com, by posting a tweet or an Instagram post with the hashtag AskDieter. I'll be watching. Thank you, as always, for liking and subscribing. And most of all, thank you for sharing this. It means a lot. You got this.